Good morning. So today I'm gonna to be doing a coffee alternative review on the company called Mudwater, which is really a neat idea because a lot of American coffee and the way that a lot of Americans drink coffee is honestly very unhealthy for you. There's a lot of sugar involved, the, the coffee quality might not even really be there, so the health benefits that would traditionally be in coffee aren't even gonna be there, let alone all the sugar and dairy. So this company decided to tackle that issue um, with a coffee alternative. Now, if you look at the ingredients on this thing, they went very heavy handed on the healthy element. They, I mean, gosh, you've got masala chai, lion's mane, um, reishi mushrooms, cinnamon, turmeric, Himalayan salt, cordyceps. So they went like all out on giving you a very healthy product, uh, which is really pretty cool because they managed to make something healthy also tastes pretty nice. Now, if somebody did have a unhealthy coffee routine in the morning and they were looking for something that wasn't as, um, pro didn't provide as much of a jittery experience or something that made them feel kind of unwell or that they crashed, I would say this is a great alternative. Uh, I would prefer um, personally just going to better quality coffee in the morning, but um, this is, I think provides a really nice option. Now, on and off in my morning routine, I have incorporated this into my morning experience. So sometimes I make myself some coffee, sometimes I make myself some mud water. And I've been doing that for about three months or so. And I wanted to put out a video initially, but I figured I would just take a little more time to get a more educated opinion on what I actually thought of the product and then uh, give you guys a little overview. So the first thing that I wanna get out of the way is with coffee alternatives, especially when they kind of announce themselves as a coffee alternative, in your brain there's this opportunity to say like, oh, so it's gonna drink like coffee. No, <laughs> this is not drink like coffee at all. It's um, a lot of the components in it don't really break down super well in coffee. And so it's it can be a little bit gritty, a little sandy, but um, not to the point where it's incredibly distasteful, but it's not as smooth or as creamy as what you would get out of coffee, especially if you add cream or sugar. But overall, it's a very different textured cup. And it doesn't taste like coffee. Um, it, you've got the cacao in it, you've got the turmeric in it, it's a, uh, and the mushrooms provide a earthy flavor. Um, again, something that's very palatable, and I'd say something that um, is very you know, easy to get used to but um, do not be deceived in thinking that you're gonna drink this and you're gonna forget that it's not coffee because that is not the case. But with that being out of the way, I wanna talk about some of the pros, the things that I really like about this coffee. And then I wanna talk about a couple of cons and then maybe some pro tips as far as how to get a, um, an optimal experience out of drinking this. So the first thing that I would mention is that it does feel very healthy for you. As far as just what you have for energy, what's in the tank um, throughout your day, I think it really is, a, it provides something very nice when it comes to overall what you're gonna get out of it. Um, you know, it, it would be bizarre if you didn't with how many healthy things like the turmeric and the mushrooms, things like that. It would be very strange if you didn't feel good afterwards. So unless you have some type of weird allergic reaction to any of these ingredients, and don't chug it, honestly, like don't drink it fast, take your time. But besides that, I'd say that you can definitely feel that it is healthy for you. Something else that I love about this is that it is so, so easy to make. It takes like zero brain power to put together this cup of mud water. You literally just heat up some water. I go to like 200 degrees if you, if you can gauge it out on your kettle. You put like your mud water in the mug of choice, pour the water in and mix it with a little stirring wand thing that they give you. Um, if you have your own, that works too. But it is so simple. It is ridiculously easy to make. The other thing that I really like about this is that it's very versatile. You can use it like just straight up water, this, mix, and you're good to go. Um, but there are other things that you can add to it if you want to kind of have a preferred um, flavor, if you want to sweeten it up. But something else you can do, and something that I actually really enjoy doing, is putting it in smoothies, specifically smoothies that you would normally add like cocoa powder to. You could add cocoa powder, but then also some of the mud water, and it gives this kind of just spicy flavor, which is pretty cool. I actually really like it a lot. 
and um, it doesn't provide as earthy of an experience, especially with all the other ingredients that typically go in a smoothie. But I, I, I really like how it tastes in something that you would normally put cocoa powder in. Maybe you could do half the cocoa powder and then half of this mud water. Now the one downside, and I would compare this more to, you know, buying a bag of coffee versus buying a can of mud water, is the upfront cost. It is fairly expensive. Um, when it comes to the ratios, if you do something like I would do, which is the 20 grams of this product mixed with 220. I said 280 earlier. I just remembered that. 220. That's my ratio. Anyways, if you do that and you kind of ration it out, it lasts you for a fairly long amount of time. So it's a little more justifiable in buying it because if you were to, alternatively, if you were to compare this to buying a cup of coffee every morning from Starbucks, Oh my gosh, you are saving money. That gets expensive in a hurry. So when it comes to just making something at home instead of going out and buying something, you are, this is a good financial investment. You are saving money. But besides that, it's, I'm, maybe it's similar. Like you get more yield out of the can versus like a bag of coffee. But the upfront cost is a little jarring when you first go to order your initial can of mud water. But I will say that mine's lasted for a fairly long amount of time, especially when I mix it into my other morning routines when it comes to drinking coffee versus drinking this. Okay, so I've got a couple pro tips for you when it comes to making a really good uh, cup of mud water. If you wanna just have the straight up, very healthy version of this, if you're like, all right, I'm leaving all the processed sugar, all the dairy, all the stuff behind, and I'm going clean, and you wanna to head towards this, I would recommend this. I would recommend doing 20 grams of the mud water, 220 grams of water, and I would also recommend 20 grams of honey. Maybe less if you, if you want. I've done 10 and I've done 20. I like 20 better because it adds a sweetness to it, which makes it a little more palatable, because like I said, this is an earthy, drink this it, it tastes like there are mushrooms in it it's just it is what it is you got cacao in there which is also kind of bitter so it's like and there's some salt that kind of helps with the bitterness as well and the earthiness but all things considering it's still a very earthy deep drink and the honey definitely sweetens it in a way that's a lot healthier and more natural and 20 grams also adds a little bit of a texture component as well so I would say that if you do 20 grams of the mud water powder, 20 grams of honey, and then 220 grams of water, that's honestly my favorite. Like the, my way to drink it, that is my absolute favorite. Another pro tip, and this is something that I've seen people make mistakes before online, have a spoon ready while you're drinking, especially if you don't drink it for a while. A lot of the components in here are not going to blend into your, or dissolve rather, into your water. So what you need to do is you need to continue to mix it so that it kind of stays incorporated with your drink so that when you're drinking it, there's not this big old thing of mud that ends up in the bottle because that is for real exactly what will happen. And you're supposed to be like drinking that stuff. That's a part of what's good for you. Um, if you actually, I don't think you can really see it from here, but I've been holding on to this for a little while and I haven't really drank a lot out of it. And there's already kind of like this filmy foolishness down here from uh, some of the sediment and some of the th components that aren't gonna dissolve in the water already settling to the bottom. And so what I'll do is just take a little spoon. Doesn't take a lot of effort. You don't have to get the stirring wand out again. Uh, honestly, when it comes to the order of operations, I like to do mud water in, water in, stirring wand, honey and then use a spoon because that way it's a little easier to clean your stirring wand. Again, a little random pro tip that's probably uh, just a random nuance. But anyways, have a spoon so that you can stir it up while you drink. Um, it will definitely help you get all the nutrition out of this thing that you're supposed to be getting, which that's a huge selling point. And if that's what you're going for, then you may as well do that. So. I'm sorry it took you so long to get through this video to get to that very useful bit of information because I've seen people who've reviewed this be like, oh, there's just a bunch of stuff at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. As you're drinking, 
take a spoon, mix it around, you'll be good to go. So that's what I've got for now. Um, those, again, my two favorite ways of drinking uh, the mud water. And a couple pro tips, couple pros, um, not a lot of cons. If you're looking for a healthy alternative and you don't mind an earthier tasting experience, um, then I say give this thing a shot. I really enjoy it. I don't, it hasn't um, converted me to where I no longer drink coffee, but it's definitely um, a, a nice little alternative to kind of change it up a little bit. I have different brewing methods and I like to change it up in that regard. And then sometimes, I'm not on any subscription. I used to be on a coffee subscription, but with traveling and stuff, it's it almost becomes a chore to try to get through your coffee. So I tend to just order it as I need it. Besides, I have a bunch of roasters that I like to change it up through anyways. But anyway, sometimes I do uh, order coffee and I don't get it by the time that I need it, and so it's empty, and so this is a fun little alternative for the in-between moments. But. Anyway, I really suggest that you uh, give it a shot if you're looking to kind of get away from the super sweet and sugary drinks and a little bit uh, something a little healthier. But let me know in the comments if you have had any experiences or if there's certain helpful tips um, in preparing it that you really enjoy. Uh, I would love to hear them. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, also, if there's any other coffee alternatives that you really like that have really um, that have worked for you, please let me know. I love trying stuff like that. I love coffee, but um, I'm also very curious as to some of the, the issues that people try to tackle when it comes to overly sugary, um, just not quality coffee in the morning. So with that being said, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're drinking excellent coffee, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time.